Do you believe all this talk of dragons? Can the Ancient Ones truly have returned? I wish I could say that I did not. But in every part of Skyrim, there is talk of dragon sightings. It is no coincidence. Sarendar, be merciful. What ill fortune that this should happen now, while we are still trying to make a living. We are fortunate. We travel lightly and can escape at a moment's notice. We have no home that a dragon can burn to the ground. I feel pity for these Nords. When the dragons attack cities and towns, they will lose everything. And we will lose customers. Let us hope that if there are dragons, there are only a few, and they are not too foul-tempered. How can I assist, hmm? Well, the warm sands so many refuse to talk to us. They call us thieves and smugglers. I am glad to see that you are not such a one. That sounds like you've had trouble. Mostly. It is the Nords. Yes, they seem racist. They do not like outsiders in their land. And so we are forbidden to enter their cities. When they look upon us, they see only pickpockets and skooma dealers. Uh -huh. It is most unfair. But we do our best to ignore them. Indeed. Not long in truth. I came to Skyrim after I found myself unwelcome in both Elsewhere and Cyrodiil. I seem to have an unfortunate talent for getting myself involved in misunderstandings with the law. Rassad was able to look past that, and it was he who helped to set me up with a trade caravan. Now I work for him. Hmm. That is pretty interesting. Well, let's see. Look. If you have anything that I need. Or if I have anything that I can get rid of. With 120. Well, not sure that I want to get rid of these things yet. Should probably wear this while I'm speaking to these people. But, to be honest, well, these I could certainly get rid of. Magicka Regeneration, I feel I've already learned from the enchantment tables. I could be wrong. Potions? I imagine I could quite easily get rid of any potions of stamina that I have. I never use them. It seems unreasonable to keep them on me. These scrolls. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> Good heavens. These scrolls I should probably should probably use. Mud crabbed legs. Ah. Well, I think that'll be all for now. May your road lead you to warm sands. Oh, thank you. Hmm? I hope that you will come to do business with us again. Me too. Please, come and browse our goods. Khajiit is ready for any troublemakers. Bandits harass the caravans at every step, but Khajiit usually scare them off. Have they given you trouble, though? A few days ago we were ambushed. A nuisance, really. But many of the marauders had quick fingers. Oh, no. One of them stole my moon amulet, given to me by my mother when I was just a cub. Sounds like a job for me. only memory of home in this cold land. I can likely find it for you. You are kind to offer. We believe the bandits are part of a group headquartered here. Be careful. I miss my amulet. But a life cannot be replaced as easily. 
I hope we do not encounter one Yes, of them on the road. I was hired to protect as the others as we walk the roads of Skyrim. How fast each of us can drown. It is a thankless oh, task, and I would rather be back home in elsewhere, but I have little choice. Akari freed me from a prison in Cyrodiil, and now I must repay my debt to him. Huh. A word of advice, my friend. Do not mix gambling and drink. Taken together, they will empty your pockets of every septum. It's good advice. Skyrim is filled with all manner of dangerous beasts. Yes, I've seen a few. Wolves, trolls, mammoths, and giants would all like to make a meal of us. But the dragons are the most fearsome. Lucky for us, they don't seem to hunt along the roads. True. Very true. Well. May yes, your I know just what you mean. My toes are numb from the I always enjoy talking to the Khajiit. They seem to have interesting perspectives on things. Ah, Riften. Oh, I made the strange illusion that I was going to buy a house Wait, here. I know you. No, you don't. But I've realized how silly it would be to buy a house here when I could simply go to the Thieves' Guild and deposit my things there. Of course, first I have to see if the Jarl has access to any disenchanting tables. If not here, perhaps the temple. Give me access to one. Ah. I know you. Where was it? Hmm. Oh, you were getting something for me. Yes, I haven't found all of them yet. Um, but I will soon. Well, let's see what we can learn. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I can sell all of these items. Did we have an appointment? No. No. It was a delivery? I can't remember. Well, don't worry about it. I can't remember if I have any... Aha. Restore Magicka. I can make three. That's good. Yes. Excuse my disorganization, but I'm in the middle of some delicate experiments. There could be agents of the Empire looking for an opportunity like that to have you killed. Are you willing oh. to take that risk? No. Look at how fancy we are. We're like I'll brothers. Look at us. As Yar I would ask that you maintain respectable distance from them at all times. Oh, sure. Sure, I will. Welcome to Riften, traveler. I hope the road fared Welcome well. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. It did. It did, Yarl actually. Lela's steward, Aniriel. What can I do for you? Uh, I fixed things. Well done. Your continued efforts have been of great benefit to the people of Riften. Indeed. Allow me to present you with this compensation for your selfless efforts. Yes, thank you. Thunderbolts, eh? Good journey to you. Thank you. Do you realize how delicate the experiment is you've interrupted by sending for me? I may need to throw out the components and start again. How dare you take that kind of tone? You're in service to me, remember? I'm sorry, my lady. The stresses of all this research... It's becoming more than I can bear. You're forgiven. Now, I want to know if you've made any progress with my son. Is he cursed? Has he been possessed? Sorry, my lady. I've been looking, but... I'm convinced Sarland truly believes what he is saying. Very well. Keep at it. You may go. Interesting. Anuriel, would you please stop declaring that the city is safe for the Jarl to roll? You and I both know that oh. isn't true. I would never knowingly place Layla in danger. You Apparently know I'll already know. Why do you always question my judgment? You don't trust That enchantment as well. I trust you. I'm just concerned about her know you. That's all. Okay, well... I suppose here...
Yes. Take that one off. Um, so, this glass sword, three points of extra damage that ignores armor, that's still only a damage of 12. But this glass sword is my most, most damaging sword. I will favorite that one, so that I can use it in time of need. Favorite all of these scrolls as well, so I have quick access to them. And by favorite, I mean, of course, put them on my belt. So I have quick access to them. Oh. Lavender, dragon's tongue. No, oh, thank you. Sure, I have plenty of all of these. Ah, how are you all? Doing well, I hope. Guild chest. Something? Is this one mine? Owned. What did you need? Owned. Whoops. Ha. Aha. Now I can store things in here, I believe. Do I really have anything that I need to store, though? Perhaps these? Books, yes. I can sell these. Ha. That Corundrum ingot I may need, although I believe that Elven armor is improved with Moonstone. All these torches do have weight to them. I'll store them all. Alright. I carry weight is still pretty high. Brothel. What did you need? Yes, please. I think if Brynjolf catches wind of it, he'll boot you right out of here. So drop it already. Oh. I'll so go in on it. Some training. Hmm? I'll go in on a uh, a brothel with you. For certain. We could be business partners. For the money, of course. Oh, hello there. I was just paying my respects to the dead, is all. Nothing else. Is it becoming night time? How can a humble servant of Talos help you today? Not at all, thanks. Oh, it is becoming night time. Not gonna be able to trade with these people. You sell things? Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Not really. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I just uh, need some gold. To be honest. Ah, oh, you know what I need to actually Whatever. do first, though. Let's just go ahead and do this. Nothing but genuine fire salt. What brings you to Balaman today? Repair, purchase, the finest weapons and armor. Sales, actually. I mentioned this already. Okay. I may save this for one of the girls. I know I gave them an orc dagger last time I saw them. Uh, and if I come across some fantastic item, a different sort of dagger to give to the other one, I will. I feel like I should keep Ghost Blade, just because. Yeah, 
It only weighs a small amount. This sword is incredibly heavy on the other hand, which is a shame. All right. There's still quite a bit that Remember, I need to sell. But genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. What is this? Oh, that's right, it's tavern. They're not gonna buy anything that I have to sell here. Well, there is one purpose that I'm here for. I may be able to attend to at night. We shall see. Now. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Grillid. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We love you, Grilla. Thank you for Thank your you kindness. Thank you for your kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. Wow. What a hideous hag. You really shouldn't be here. Why? I'm sorry, but the children aren't up for adoption right now. You should go. Uh, is she always like that? Sadly, yes. Even the townsfolk have taken to calling her Grella the Kind. Her very existence has become something of a running joke. Grelod runs this orphanage because she's old and set in her ways and doesn't know any other life. These children need love and comfort. I try, but I'm sorry. You should go. The children aren't up for adoption, and it's cruel to get their hopes up. Besides, Grelod hates visitors. Ridiculous. I'm sorry, no. Grelid is the headmistress here, and she's decided not to allow any adoptions right now. I... I wish things were otherwise. All of these children deserve a better home, but there's nothing I can do. Hmm. Oh, don't tell me this is their... toilet. Good heavens. At least they have closed doors. You. What do you want? You have no business being in here. Do I not? What are you staring at, you worthless piece of gutter trash? I simply must start locking the doors again. Think you can intimidate me? In my own orphanage? Ha! Not bloody likely. You're trying to frighten me, hmm? Do your worst. You don't scare me. Well, isn't that a uh, sight to see? This old woman has died of a heart attack. So I wonder, uh, all of these kids knew what was going on. Oh, I don't think this is the book that I was looking for. Ah, oh, I don't even learn anything from it. Just an empty tome. Can I speak to you, please? Yes, no worries. When Aventus escaped, Grilla got meaner than ever. I really thought she was going to kill one of us. Guess not. That's right. Everything is fine now, children. Mercy! Never fear. Enough! Aye. Mercy! 
It almost seems like she knows something has happened. Oh, I certainly hope she doesn't tell the uh, guards. No worries. No more. I yield. I yield. And I wonder if I leave. I cannot best you. If I will be in trouble or not. Oh, mountain flowers. I feel like I probably have enough of those. Oh. Clever book. Mercy. Oh no. Stuck. There we are. Ah. Yes, I don't think I need any food today. Fool. Are they going to get angry at me for taking his things? I hope not. Gold ingot? Five lockpicks? Yes, please. Wow. I hope you weren't from my guild. Because, uh, failed pretty miserably, I would say. Pond Pran? What is this place? My husband Bercy will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Okay. All the crime and corruption in Riften is really getting to him. And now that we hear rumors about the dragons, he's been very depressed. Okay. Bercy's afraid that someone's making a move to take the pawn prawn from us. I think he's being paranoid. Think so, eh? We both own the pawn prawn together, but he single-handedly kept the place running despite all our problems. Well, good to know. <clears throat> what? I don't know what you mean. Oh, hello there. How's it going? Welcome to the Pond Prawn. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing. Let's read this. Shroud Hearth Barrow. Eh? Haunted. Huh. Well. I have all sorts of interesting items for sale. Have you looked around? I've, uh... I've peeked. Yes. Just a uh, couple of times. It's fine though. Thank you. Hello, guard. How are you? Wait. I know you. No, certainly. Uh. Stop, oh, another one. A fight. Ah! Is someone there? Stop, oh! Don't. Ah! No. Why are you after me? Why would he why would he try to attack me? Yes. Visitors like us are rare in this part of Skyrim. Oh. It was lost years ago in a Dwemer ruin. Without it, I feel almost as defenseless as a newborn. I don't think I'll ever be able to find a replacement. Well, I'll take a look. I couldn't ask you to undertake such a treacherous journey. It would be a fool's errand. But I see that spark in your eye, and I know better than to warn you away. Grimsever rests within the Dwemer ruin of Missinchaleft. 
Tread carefully, friend. Those same ruins almost took my life. That sounds pretty crazy. What happened exactly? I was adventuring in the depths of the ruins when I was attacked by a massive construct, like nothing I had ever seen. When the Colossus struck, Grimsever was knocked from my grasp, and I was wounded badly. It was only through blind luck that I was able to crawl away from the Dwemer abomination and make my way to the surface. I must have collapsed, because the next thing I remember is Erin standing over me, tending to my wounds. Huh. Well... You call yourself a wizard? I challenge you to a duel. Excuse me? I won't take no for an answer. Hey! Oh, come on now. That's right. We have no chance. Why? Why would he even challenge me to begin with? You not see me kill the thief? I think he did see me kill the thief. And that's the reason why he's challenged me now. You done? No. Oh. You realize I'm a dark elf, don't you? So the fire that you're trying to use against me... Pretty ineffective. I'll admit I don't mind your ignorance. Oh! Stuck on a tree. Oh! Excellent dodge. Yeah, that's good. Whoa. Come at me, bro. Ah, gold? Really? Really? Ah, gold? And you wanted to kill me? Why? Why? And you? Good source of lockpicks, but... Why? All of these folks. Their inexplicable motivations for murder. Why? Goodness sakes. Well, I still have more things to sell, that's for certain. Everyone's asleep now. I've killed Grelod, as was my whole purpose of coming to Riften. I can see this is a dangerous place full of thieves and beggars. Perhaps the Khajiit caravan is still here? Yes. Excellent. So many refuse to talk to us. Take a look. Ah, and they still have a bit of gold? Perhaps you would like to buy some robes? Wow. Perhaps you would like to buy a robe?
There we are. May your road lead you to warm sands. Oh, thank you. In a profitable journey, the wind blows bitter cold in this place. That's for certain. Well, it appears I have else to do. There are other places to go. I know of at least two. Two weapons hiding in places that I need to find. One for this Khajiit here. One for that woman, the lioness from the Dwarven ruins. Ah, certainly sounds like an adventure I could get behind. For sure. Well, I suppose it is time I get on the road. <laughs> 